We are going to apply now the ARIA tool to predict the position of the equilibrium in a chemical reaction. So now let's draw this. I'm giving you a reaction, and we need to predict uh, where is the equilibrium favoring products or reactants. So I'm starting with this structure. And again, I'm not giving you PKAs here, which will be, um, we've done it in previous videos. So my reaction is the following. And that I had a chlorine. And in principle, I'm going to draw two arrows, like equilibrium. And here, first we're going to identify acid, base, and the conjugates, right? That will be my first step. And also, I am forming... This. So my process. This is my reaction, and I see here that this molecule got a product from here. And doing explicitly the bonds. This is my arm um, product transfer mechanism. When it gets the product, then this bond breaks, and it will assign electrons here. So bottom line, this molecule behaved as a proton donor. Because it's a proton donor, that's my acid. This molecule got a proton, so it's a proton acceptor. And this is um, the product here. So this is, because it's a proton acceptor, this is your base in the Bronsted lowry concept. Now this is the acid. This is its conjugate base. And this is a conjugate acid of this molecule, so conjugate acid. Now, now that we have established that, where is the equilibrium shifted to? Favors product or favor reacts? So let's analyze the acids in the bases. So always the equilibrium is shifted towards the more stable species. Now here, let's think of the effects. Both of them are, if you look at the two acids, carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid. If I look at the bases here, this base is stabilized by resonance. This base is also stabilized by resonance. Now, so I'm analyzing base and conjugate base. So same thing. So atom will be the same, same resonance effect. But now, notice that in this base, I have a chlorine. And here, I don't. And chlorine is an electron withdrawing atom, so it's more electronegative than chlorine. So I'm going to draw a dipole in this direction. That helped stabilize this species. So this base is more stable than this base so between the two bases. So right here, this is um, more stable, is weakest base. And the weakest base will give you the strongest acid. So this base is meaning this is weaker base of the two, and therefore this is the stronger acid. Acid. And that means, again, the weaker base, that's the stronger base than the four, right? And we know that the equilibrium is going to be shifted to the weaker acid, weaker base. So this is my weaker acid. That means the equilibrium favors this side. Okay, now let's do one more example uh, using ARIA to analyze where the equilibrium is going. And now, so this time we analyze two acids where we have the same atom and same resonance effects. And now we're gonna, I'm going to give you two more to another reaction. And the next reaction I have this and the plus now I have a sulfur here and that um, I'm gonna form now these species these are my products negative charge plus this okay uh, labeling the species Electron rich, that's my base, and that is the electron donor species, so that's the acid. 
that's the base, which is like a uh, product acceptor. Here is with a product. And these are the conjugates. So this is conjugate base, conjugate acid. So equilibrium is shifted towards the more stable species. So weakest acid, weakest uh, base. So when we analyze the conjugate bases here, uh, the bases, the two bases, charge here on sulfur, charge on an oxygen. Remember that we said that if we are on a period, uh, on a period like that, the predominant effect will be um, electronegativity. But when we are analyzing things in a group, we're analyzing size. And here, sulfur and oxygen belong to the same uh, group. And oxygen is above, then sulfur, and then we have selenium. So size increases this way, meaning charges are spread on a bigger atom, the space. Uh, as consequence, this is then more stable than that. So considering the two bases, this is more stable. So weaker base than that. Weaker base means this is a stronger acid. of the two, so weaker in a stronger acid, that is the weaker acid then. And now that I have established that, equilibrium goes towards weaker acid. Here we have weaker acid, weaker base, so this is where your equilibrium is shifted to. I didn't use pKa, I, what I did use was the ARIO tool to determine that. And I was analyzing this effect.